Sometimes I use stream disconnection, bro. I don't know. Hey, so I can damn guy. items in here and then you tell the words out with Alakazam. I can't believe there's trainers in this volcano. What? You know, the way he was talking about this uh, volcano, I did not expect to see like a weak ass level 22 little picks. A lot of the wild types are like under leveled. Oh, there is some tornadoes like sleeping in the volcano or whatever. Dude, I wasn't even allowed in here, and there's some random ass hikers and backpackers in here. Kind of seems weird. I had to like beat the army's best soldier. Oh, is that what that thing turns into? That's really cool. Too bad paper cut doesn't really one shot. I think when I first started fighting that Kekleon dude, it said like one out of eight or something, and now when I beat him over like the or down the mountain or whatever, it said uh it said uh like four out of eleven. Mm -hmm. The the shopkeep the merchant. Well like for the quest or whatever. So good at being a tank. Who your uh, fish? Yeah. He doesn't hit too hard. That seems to be the pattern with most of these mods. Until they get like better moves, I guess. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. 
Oh my god. Find something good? No, no that okay. hurt. Sludge what? bomb fucking hurts. Can I get a big pick too? With the diet with the diet coke. Oh, dude, with the I, diet coke. I had a diet coke person uh the other day. It was not pretty. The diet coke. Like there were like twenty things and then it said diet coke. And they, say, work. and they say it, they say it just like you say it, so like, and I laughed when they said Diet Coke. Diet Coke is not, any Diet Soda is actually disgusting. I'll take... How can you, how can you like Diet Coke? That uh, is, it tastes disgusting. I'll take 20 cheeseburgers and Diet Coke. And a Diet Coke. Yep. Diet Coke. I'm like, that ought to wash it down. <laughs> I would like... Why they get the diet coke? I'd rather just have carbonated water than diet coke. I haven't drank diet coke literally. I I think one time. The thing is, is I've tried a lot of these things before, but I was like, oh man, dude, I was like fucking eight or nine years old. I was like on a farm and I was. So dehydrated that I was like, I'll drink. I was, yeah, I was at uh, Roy's farm. I, you never been there, Caleb, but I was out there in Virginia, and we were doing that. Okay, good old Virginia. Yep. <laughs> and uh, it was like a trampoline or whatever. But we were bouncing on it all day next to the river. Oh, trampoline. Yep. One of those trampolines that doesn't even have covers on the side. Mm. Like it's just an open fucking trampoline. Oh yikes! Yep, we're we're out there with Buck. With Bucky B, little Bucky. <laughs> Dude, I'm not making any of this up. <laughs> with Buck. Those are all real places and real people. Okay. Buck. Sorry, all right. All right. At the time, Buck was like four. Buck. Oh my god. That was his name, yeah. There was another one, but I didn't remember his name. Buck. I, I don't remember the other one's name. I'll ask my mom one day or something. I'll be like, what were their names? It was Buck and what? What are the brothers' names? Buck and Ricky. I don't know. They're Roy's kids. But anyway, uh, we were out there bouncing on the trampoline forever, and we got thirsty, and then all... All, all, all my parents had, or John and Deborah, they had, uh, they had, uh, what's it called? All they had was, um, a 12 case of, like, that coke. like room temperature coke, or, like, a couple Diet Cokes. No, or, I would have taken, I actually would have taken the room temperature. Well, what happened was, uh, I was just like, the Diet Cokes are cold, and I hate soda, so I'll go with the Diet Coke, and I drank it, and I was like, that tastes like actual ass. No thanks. And, uh, I was like, I guess I'll get the warm Coke, and I taste it, and, uh, I'm not gonna say I liked it, but I killed it. Like, I killed the whole drink. But I think it was because it just tasted that much better than, uh, Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. But it was really like I just flipped the lid and was just like, good, 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 good. It's like a fisherman yeah. above this lava. Dude, I, I only even like like five sodas. Everything else was like nasty. I don't drink soda. I just happened to drink it that day because it was either that or dehydration. I kind of hate juice dude, because juice is like always sweet. I don't like juice because uh, my cousin. Uh, oh. Or not even my real cousin, but uh, it was like this little uh, Jewish kid, and he was like paranoid if he didn't get like juice all the time, and he would always talk about the uh, needing his juice like a four-year-old, but he was like 11, I think, at the time, and he would talk about the nutrients and all that crap in it, and this is really annoying. Oh, yeah. So juice is kind of good for you. Like there's some juice that's good, but I just don't think it, it just always feels like sweet. Like apple, well at least apple juice and like 
grape juice, like all the all the juices that are just like fruit, like when it's like called like grape juice or something, I'm always super sugary. No, no, no. The apple juice and orange juice are fine, but the pro oh, orange juice is good, the but apple juice is the good. problem with apple juice is it tastes literally like piss, and the problem with orange juice is there's always like an ass and a pulp in it, dude. Oh, look at that teddy bear, Spike. Oh, See, I, I prefer cranberry juice. Yeah, that, that's, be that's the best juice. I don't like that juice either. That's the best juice. Oh, it's not the best juice, but it's better than apple juice, grape juice. Uh, I think the juice you're talking about, I might be... I, John had it in the house, like, a bunch of times, and it always tasted way too, like... I don't want to say saturated, but it, it was very, it was almost like wine with how it stuck to the f bottom of your mouth. And it, 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 it was very unpleasant taste for me. What is it good for? I don't remember what it is. It, it, I was instructed to drink it because it was something to, to help your body or whatever with something. Maybe make your toes grow yeah, longer or something. Good. I don't know. It's good for urinary tract, if that's what you're talking about. Your urinary tract? Yeah. Oh, that might have been it. That might have been why I was put instructed to drink it. I was instructed to drink it to, you know, clean my system. <laughs> Bro's peeing orange. And it was not great. I remember already hating it. Oh, I love cranberry juice. I think I told you about how I had it. I thought it was awful. Oh no, man! I drink it all the time if I ever buy it. I don't. I don't know if there's a juice out there that I even remotely like. Or well, like orange juice with no pulp. Uh, I don't know. Every time I drink it, it's like. Dude, have you ever actually had like orange juice that was completely to your liking? Or has there always been something wrong with it? That's my thing with it. Fine with pulp. Um, Abby doesn't like the chunks. <laughs> so uh, Abby <laughs> likes the no pulp orange juice. I'm with her on that, dude. Like chunks <laughs> in your juice? Ooh. Yeah, man, I'm fine with pulp. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to drink sludge, yeah, dude. Buy it. buy it without the chunks. Dude, I'm telling you right now, every time I get orange juice, it always seems like there's some mysterious problem with it that I have to, like, deduce instead of actually can, drinking you can, it. You can, you can choose pulp or no pulp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you choose no pulp and it still, still tastes, like, kind of funny, dude. Nah, it tastes fine, man. That's facts. It always tastes like some it, dude pulp. If they uh, if they take out the pulp, it always feels like somebody's been messing with my drink too much, so I don't want it. Cause they have to mess with it to get the they, pulp out. They put their fucking hands in it to get the pulp out. Yeah. Take one pulp out one by one. <laughs> like, with like a crane with their hands. They did wash their hands. Uh, unwashed hands, actually. You can see a little hey, bit pulp, of the debris. Pulp is not too the pulp's not even that bad. Alright, dude, you like drinking fucking orange snot, dude. Be my guest. Yeah. And then apple juice always tastes like piss, like I said earlier. Like it actually tastes like urine. It's like piss yellow and everything. Have you guys actually had apple juice and and just sat there like, uh, this shit kind of fucking sucks. Oh, you know things are bad when I got my ice type out. On the number five. In the fire mountain. Every time I drink apple juice, I'm always like, I wish there was more. Like, but I'm not craving it. I'm like, this was empty. And I'm not just talking about the juice boxes. It depends on the apple juice. Like, if I get it out of the thing, I'm like, this is like fucking nasty. And if I get it out of a juice box, it's a little more tolerable. But then, I don't know. I don't know. My, my go-to choice is always cranberry. Um, grape juice is okay. 
Uh, apple juice is like my last choice. Ooh, I got the ice zone. I can evolve my uh, my Pokemon. <laughs> what other juices are there? Yeah, Ooh, that does look bad. badass. Already. I can tell by the silhouette. That thing got yeah, like some ice thing. everywhere. Yeah, what about lemonade? It's that's been, a juice. It's been a long... If lemonade counts as a juice, then that's my go-to. I don't it's think it does. A juice. It's, it's lemons. It's technically a juice, but with extra sugar. Dude, did you guys see that? My, my Pokemon evolved? Look at that thing. That looks like a legendary. What? The, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. thing. Good, right? Dude, if you told me this was a legendary, I would believe you. Like, if I had never played this game. It's like one of the land Pokemon legendaries. Yeah, like a legendary dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just assume you were telling the truth. Look, even this, the little card art for it, too. Yeah, I don't really want to fight the Karate Man in the snow with the ice Pokemon, but... Maybe I'll get evasion. I hate every single ice Pokemon, dude. They're all boring. Like what about mine? Did you see this one? I like the I like the little I can't know the stuff I like. A lot of ice Pokemon aren't too boring. I I think a lot of people don't like uh ice Pokemon kill. I think we're against the grain on this. My issue oh, with ice Pokemon is they give you them too late. I think Ice Ghost is a really cool like mix. Are you like Frostlass? Frostlass is alright. Um, yeah, Abby really likes Frostlass. I like my favorite ice Pokemon is. Oh, that's actually kind of tough. I will say that when we did Sword and Shield, when you had a pick. Wolf and Nine Tails is my favorite ice. That one was really good. Oh, I'm at your part, dude. I'm at the, I'm at the surfer, dude. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he is. The soft squash. There you go. It's like, you like this one? You like this ice Pokemon? The guy on the right? He's just hanging around downtown. Uh... Hi, bro. Dude, I think we're against the grain though, Kill. Because most people think ice types fucking suck, dude. I love ice types. Ice. Ice Pokemon's not that bad. Dude, when I, uh. Here, let me explain, like, the story I have with ice and why I kind of like them a lot. Um. When I, uh. Okay, Caleb, did you. Was your first game Emerald or did you play the older ones? Um, I think my first one was uh, Crystal. Okay. Yeah, then this is... I mean, this is somewhat relatable, but I'll get to it. Alright. So, uh, every, everybody kind of knows that my first team was, like, a bunch of dragons or whatever. Like, it was Charizard, Gyarados, and then I found the Dratini and all that other crap, right? Aerodactyl, whatnot. Everybody knows that. Boring, right? However, when I got to play Red again because I like played it again before gold and silver came out um uh the next team that I, or well, here's the thing all right uh, before I even get to the second playthrough right let's talk about the first playthrough right does anybody remember the first elite four member Laura Lay. yeah yeah and she specializes with ice types now being yeah. so, now being somebody like me who used dragons, my first time against them, the blizzards were actually pretty intense, and the freeze was devastating. And yeah. I, even though she had shit like Dugon and and Slowbro and yeah. what, Jinx and Lapras were actually like different. Like I actually had to bring out Charizard for that fight, like and be like, wow, Ice is kind of like something else. And then if you use Ice like Articuno, especially if you went through the Seafloor Islands. Oh man, Articuno back in Gen 1 was actually intimidating. Like, I don't even know if you remember the bird sprite. 
you might not have seen it. No, I do, yeah. But, but it was it was kind of like, for me at least, ice was about as rare as dragon in Pokemon. So anytime I saw like an ice type, I was just like, dude, that thing can freeze shit. That thing is really good against some of the strongest stuff in this game. It's scary, right? So yeah. when I did my second playthrough, um, there's a trade that you can do with an NPC where you give him a Poliwhirl for a Jinx. And I basically, my second playthrough, use shit like, um, I use shit like, uh, Mr. Mime from the first trade, Jinx, um, and then I tried to sneak a couple other ones, but it wasn't a full ice team, but I did have a Lapras, and it was really fun. And then, you get to where you're at, like, the first, uh, the crystal you said it was? Well, no, I played yellow. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you played yellow. I, I yeah, did the yeah, whole yeah. normie Ash Ketchum. Everyone ran like ice tights because of the dragons. Yeah. They had to. Well, once you got ice beam for the dragons, you knew that ice yeah, is kind exactly, of like a yeah. good utility thing. Cool, there's a heal right here. Oh, this one's a free one, too. Okay, but well, here's the thing, right? So let's just say we forget about the ice after that, right? Let's just say the few small experiences on that game, even though they're kind of, like, rare. Even though, like... It, dude, look, in Johto, there wasn't really a dragon. Like, you couldn't get Kingdra realistically by yourself. So it was kind of like... It was kind of, it was kind of like, uh... You just took a dragon eye, though. Yeah, 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 I still trained the Dragonite. But you get what I'm saying? There wasn't really any new ones. I still yeah, made the Dragonite. I actually made two Dragonairs, because there's, like, a trade for, like, a Dodrio or Rhydon. You can mm -hmm. trade, like, a girl yeah. for. Uh, but, um... When you first see Ice-type in that game, right? It's, uh, after, like, you beat all seven badges, and it's the Ice Path. And seeing... Especially after the Ice Gym, even though it was, like, kind of weak, if you had, like, Typhlosion or whatever. Uh, seeing that ice gym, uh, or uh, that ice path, not really so much in gold and silver, because crystal kind of, like, up the ante. Ooh, I hope this guy doesn't kick my ass. Okay. Not so much, uh, gold and silver, but I guess as soon as you go in there, it's a hard dungeon, and there's, like, swinubs and fucking jinx and deli birds in there. And, let's be real, uh... Uh, Swipe, or was it Deli Birds and Jinx are kind of whatever at this point, especially Jinx's model doesn't look as good as it used to because they got rid mm -hmm. of like the black. I know, I know the whole controversy with it, but I, I never like, as a kid, I never like connected that. It was more like yeah. she's like a dark magician, like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, she's mystical. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, she's mystical. And then when they changed it to like that ugly purple, I was like, okay whatever that is uh but then uh you get to the swine up right this little pig you saw what pillow swine kind of turns into and i got this like kind of cold feeling from all of them because i already like ground type a lot and to see pillow swine in that 2d sprite it just kind of looked really like it was it was tired and it, it if you messed with it something bad would happen and i kind of kept getting that that cold feeling from ice types that if it if you fuck with it, or if it hits you, there's always that chance you'll get frozen. You know, there's always yeah. that, there's always that scary, and it, and it was good against one of the, uh, like we were saying earlier, it's good against like, oh, I needed to keep bugging it. Oh, and he has the EV evolution. Yeah, he's got the dragon one. It's dragon flying, I'm pretty sure. Scaling on that QR code. I gotta scan it. I gotta scan that QR code. I gotta know where it takes me. It looks like it's a um Instagram. What about Instagram? No, it's a QR code in this game. What the Instagram? Uh, maybe we're about to find out. 
scanning that bitch. Yo, uh, actually, Caleb, we can, we can, we can talk. That that ice thing actually goes further in down the rabbit hole. Uh, cause you once you. Daddy. What? It goes to an Instagram called Wallace Daddy. Yikes. No, it might be the music guy. The instrumentalist. Oh, well, these tracks are banging. I think the QR code goes to the, uh, the guy who does the music for this game. I was probably gonna let some of it Italian. run in the background. Sometimes. Not for a stream, just for me. Dude's name is Wallace Daddy. Right, Christ. Yo, uh, but uh, back that I talk a little bit. It actually, the the rabbit hole is a little longer because uh, how about emerald, right? The only way to really access an ice type, right, is to go to like an off, like it's not even part of the story. Show cave, dude. Yeah. And and it, you have to wait for like low tide to even access the ice area where the snow runs are. So it's really like you can have a feel or you can wait till a high tide or whatever. What about or, like, didn't Victory Road have a glacier or not a glacier? On a um, uh, da, 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 what, what the hell is that fucking floating bitch? Victory was, Road had, had a. It was uh, pretty scary. Ice no, it was pretty scarce at ice, dude. No, yeah, because that's Gen 4. Yeah. That's Gen 4. Gen 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Glalie is in uh, Victory Road. No, Glalie is in, in Victory Road. Yeah, it is. You can only evolve it from Snowrun, dude. Uh, Gen 3 at Glalie in Victory Road. No way, dude. Gen 3. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this shit up now. <laughs> you might be thinking of fighting a trainer or something, dude. Oh, let's see. The weird thing about these uh, these games like this is because there's no aspect of two, you don't know it. You, you kind of get a, get everything. So when they show two things out of tradition, it's kind of like you get both. Wait, what was my intention? I was, I was searching. The starter Pokemon. Oh, you're about to get your second type. I'm sure he's saying some like crazy stuff, right? But uh it's oh, kinda, I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah, it's kinda like, okay, lore, 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 mystical powers, lore, 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 my Pokemon stronger. Kind of like, uh X Pokemon there are legendaries, that's all. Like if you were reading this at home or whatever. You can pause it at any point. I don't, I'm not mashing through it, but I'm kind of like leaving the text there for a second and then pressing the gut button again.